in this video i want to show you how to add a device enrollment manager in microsoft intune so you know actually a user can only enroll about 15 devices to microsoft intune but if you are working as an IT administrator and you are the one that manage your internet environment, so you want to actually configure this device before this device is being handed to the user, probably you, you will want to enroll more devices than just the limit of 15 devices. So to actually um, assign or um, assign an, or add an enroll manager to Intune, what you need to do first of all is to go to your all devices. Here we have another device enrollment so click enroll devices so here we have the option called device enrollment manager so it's a add or remove a device enrollment manager so let me just give you an idea what an enrollment manager can do so we have this link here when you click this link it will take you to the website of microsoft which will give you more details about what is the usefulness of an enrollment manager so it says you can enroll up to a thousand mobile devices with a single azure active directory account so mind you a single user normally a default user which does not have the um, enroll um, uh, enrollment manager account will only be able to enroll 15 devices but if you have that account you will be able to enroll about a thousand mobile device and you can see here at the limitation of the of devices that are that are enrolled with a DM, DM account. So just take your time to actually study this just to have some ideas what the enrollment manager permission can do. So just click add to add the user and then type the full user's email address. You can see that as an example. So I'm going to type the full user email address here. Okay. And you can see there's a check mark and just click add. And you can see that now Kelvin Johnson will build the enroll manager for this um, environment. So we have the option to actually delete this account if we want to delete that account, or you can just select it and click delete here. So you can add some extra users as well if you want. If you know you have multiple users who are working for the IT help desk, or you want to give some specific user the privilege to become the device enrollment manager, you can add more users to it. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video and also like my video and you can also share my video if you think this video can be of any help to someone else. Thank you very much and see you next time.